Hi Aquarius, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. This is going to be your February 2022 monthly reading in love. Aquarius, happy birthday. Those of you that are celebrating, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful birthday. Okay, Aquarius in love. February 2022. I can't believe we're in February already. But just, I can't. Well, what well, the magician flipped up just for the hell of it. Uh, Virgo, Gemini, maybe you're manifesting, starting something new. Could be starting a business. Whatever it is you're manifesting, it just... Definitely it is a new beginning. Okay. Aquarius. Gotta have the deck. Oh my god, Aquarius. Aquarius. Knight of Swords flow out for you. Definitely charging forward if things, especially if things were delayed. They're definitely moving forward. I mean, wow. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Oh my God. Them death to flow out. Aquarius, this is crazy. Aquarius. Okay. I think that means stop right there. Okay, love only. Oh, Jesus. Uh, the tower, sign of Scorpio. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, man. Four of Wands. Strength. Is that a Leo? Seven of Pentacles. I don't know the King of Pentacles. Oh my God. The Five of Swords. Seven of Cups. Page of Cups. Oh my God, I'm a hangman. I mean, someone is definitely in denial. Like, there's something someone does not want to see. I do feel very strongly that some of you need to be careful with making decisions, definitely. With the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like this it, it's you waiting and trying to make a decision. 
And the Five of Swords right next to that. And the Tower. This could be big, big fights. Big arguments. Things changing out of, uh, out of, out of hands. Just really arguments, things like just get really getting out of hand and I feel like you're just in the middle of a decision whether you're male or female making a decision is very important here I do feel like with the seven of pentacles, the five of swords I mean there is a chance this could backfire on you whether you're in a relationship or not. You know, the Four of Wands is, you know, like stability. But. I don't know, with the Tower. Something huge could have happened. Someone could be shaking things up. And ending a relationship. Or you could have met this person. And you feel like something has really surprised you. Like unexpected changes around the relationship. Like someone is definitely making a big decision. I mean, definitely with the Seven of Pentacles, but this this strength, the sign of Leo, is also telling you that you know. Have patience, you know. I guess to just keep sitting there doing nothing. I mean, the hangman, it's definitely being stuck. I feel this decision, the hangman, this is absolutely being stuck big time. I, I do feel strongly for the majority of you, like you're trying to make a big decision concerning your relationship or, or marriage or their, like... Or, the, or they are, no doubt, someone is definitely in limbo. Because you also have this very emotional energy with the Seven of Cups. It is, yeah, it could be, it is a confusing, stuck, emotional energy, scattered energy. Not knowing what, what to do. The Page of Cups is loving communication. That's going to make you very happy. It could be someone asking you out on a date, expressing your love, expressing your feelings. Someone again, I mean, it could be them. But definitely being stuck in limbo, not knowing where this relationship is going. I feel the majority of you... You are making a big decision for yourself this month. Definitely. Okay. With um, the Native Spirit Tarot. That is absolutely amazing. I will put the link and the code. How to purchase it if you like it. Oh my God, and the Ace of Cups is at the bottom. Well, after dealing with a broken heart, someone leaving. Wow. 
I caught that at the last second. And I feel like that was meant to be shared with you, Aquarius. Especially, I mean, if you're dealing with a, with a, a Scorpio or a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. That's it. Okay. All right, let me move this. Okay. Tower. King of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Aquarius for February. I well, let's see here. All right. Definitely this one. Let's see subscribe it. Strength, Seven of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Okay. God, these cards are very um, slippery. Seven of Cups, Page of Cups. My God, I must drop the whole deck. Okay. That fell out. Oh, that's what's coming. Okay. The devil. She prescribed these. So sorry. These they're so slippery too. Wow, the four of swords. And the Six of Cups. For some of you, this definitely could be could be a decision to reconcile with someone from the past. It could be you're giving someone a second chance. Oh, those of you <laughs> could just be thinking about the past. If you're focusing a lot on the past, past things that have already happened, it is really just going to create a lot of confusion for you or the person that you're dealing with, a lot of emotional energy. The devil could be a Capricorn. I see a lot of decisions around you. I do feel like you have to be careful. Others of you, there's an, an unexpected thing, a surprising, around something surprising around your relationship. Just please not, you know, just please make sure that you're not connecting yourself in any like to a negative person. I really think you just need a break, both of you need a break with the four of swords someone wants space some of you I mean some of you need a break I mean some of you were definitely going back and forth to a past ex you know, an ex person, you know, want to reconcile. I do feel like you need the time to make a decision about the Six of Cups and the Devil. With the Six of Cups and, I mean, the Devil, that was a very toxic relationship. So, your, your ex wants to revisit the relationship, but there is this the past is going to bring out really negativity, Aquarius. Or, uh, really, it, it is. Like, you, like you, you you, might even already be... Re, revisit the past. Uh, I do feel like it's going to bring a lot of emotional stuff into your life. Definitely an interesting reading. But if it didn't resonate, you know, 
not only watch your other signs, but, you know, you guys are the first ones because it's your birthday. And, um, I mean, I'm a Virgo, so my sign will be next. But it is a very interesting reading. It is. But I do, I would just say, you know, it's a new beginning. It's a new beginning. But, really, that, could, that just sealed the deal. This Ace of Cups, I mean, it's either a new beginning that you're going to continue to stay patient for. But you are sitting around waiting. Definitely. All right, Aquarius. Absolutely love you guys. I will see you back here soon. Bye. Take care.